Wild West, Wyoming, South Pass City is a well-preserved living ghost town and a Wyoming state historic site. Did you know that South Pass City was once a thriving gold mining town, but is now a ghost town frozen in time? Travel across America with me. Today, the town remains a fascinating piece of American history, and I'm excited to take you on a tour of its abandoned buildings and share the stories behind them. Welcome to South Pass City, a ghost town that takes you back to the heart of Wyoming's mining history. Once a bustling gold rush town in the 1860s, South Pass City is now a captivating state historic site offering a glimpse into the past. The town's growth was short-lived and it faced numerous challenges that ultimately led to its decline. Issues included the harsh Wyoming winter weather. The remote location made it difficult for supplies to reach the town and the town's isolation made it vulnerable to lawlessness and outlaws often took advantage of the lack of authority. As the town's population continued to decline, businesses began to shut down and the once thriving community was left with empty buildings and abandoned streets. Despite its decline, the town still holds a rich history and its abandoned buildings stand as a testament to the resilience of the people who once called South Pass City home. The Wyoming State Parks has preserved this incredible slice of American history. As you wander through the remnants of this once thriving community, you can almost hear the echoes of miners and settlers who sought their fortunes in this rugged landscape. The historic buildings, many of which have been meticulously restored, tell stories of ambition, hardship, and resilience. One of the most fascinating discoveries I made during my visit was reading the entries of Barney N. Tibbles. Fred Lovejoy and Walter Lovejoy in select pages from these men's diaries. Mr. Tibbles was the mine manager at the Carissa Mine. These preserved entries offer a unique insight into the daily life of residents in this mining town in the late 1800s. Each building holds a unique tale that sheds light on the daily lives of the people who once lived here. You'll find a grocery store, a post office. Visitors are free to explore the old saloon. The homes and the iconic assay office where gold was weighed and valued. Each structure holds secrets of the dreams and struggles of those who lived here. South Pass City is not just a site, it's a journey through time and a testament to the pioneering spirit of the American West. One of the most fascinating aspects of South Pass City is the sheer number of abandoned buildings that still stand today. Each building is a testament to the town's rich history. And when you visit South Pass City and you walk through the streets, you'll notice the eerie silence that fills the air, a stark contrast to the bustling community that once thrived here. The only person that we saw that day was the lady that was working in the store that was a pseudo gift shop. South Pass City was home to one of the most famous women in women's rights history. Her name is Esther Hobart Morris, and I doubt that very many people know her name. Most people are familiar with Susan B. Anthony, and I want to recommend that you watch my video on Susan B. Anthony. But back to Esther. This is her home and her office site. She was the first woman justice of the peace in the entire world. A statue of Esther Hobart Morris stands on the Capitol grounds in Cheyenne. This statue is also found in the United States Statuary Hall, representing the state of Wyoming. At the base of the statue, we read Esther Hobart Morris, proponent of the Legislative Act, which in 1869 gave distinction to the territory of Wyoming as the first government in the world to grant women equal rights. Have you subscribed yet? If not, please subscribe. And if you have, thank you. Other incredible things that you will come across is this Gordon printing press. This is the original printing press used by E.A. Slack to print the South Pass News in the late 1860s and early 1870s before Slack's departure to Laramie, Wyoming, where he published the Laramie Daily Independent. And if you want to know how to make brown cake, here's a recipe. There is South Pass City, but there is also South Pass. And South Pass is the most gentle way to cross the Rocky Mountains. And one of the key features is Pacific Springs. For many immigrants, the first tangible evidence that they had crossed South Pass was Pacific Springs, the fountain source of the Pacific Streams, according to pioneer Joseph Goldsboro Bruff. The broad expanse of the pass from Pacific Springs were pretty that the journey to the Pacific Coast was geographically half over, but the event was only a slight consolation. The road ahead was still long and hard, as many traveled on the overland trails. 
from the Midwest to the West. Thanks for joining me on this exploration of South Pass City. Wyoming is one of my favorite states. Be sure to leave your thoughts in the comments and check out my other videos on abandoned places. The links are in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe. So if you're seeking adventure and a taste of history, South Pass City is a must visit destination. Hiking boots on the ground in an abandoned ghost town in Wyoming on an unclassic road trip.